Hey folks, it's Tom Oprey here with the Shepherds of Wildlife Society. You know, we're out documenting a, a project that we've been working on for the last almost two years now, the real Yellowstone. It's about multi-generational ranchers, their relationship with the land and wildlife, and really will the next generation stay on the land? I mean, we have this urbanization of our society. People live in cities, suburban areas, and they've really lost that connection to the land. But it's this land, you know, if you take care of it, it takes care of you. It's something as a species that we've known for a long, long time. But unfortunately, we've kind of forgotten that connection that's out there. And, uh, you know, nothing in nature is simple. It's very, very complex. But if you take care of it, it's amazing what you can see as benefits for us as a species, you know. Uh, the land here has wildlife on it, has the bison on it. You were here at Matt Scoglin's North Bridger Bison. He was gracious enough to allow us to uh, film a harvest. He's never allowed anyone to do that. And it really is cool because we ever bring in Louisa Carter, who she's never seen a harvest. She's never seen an animal, any animal, domestic or wild, uh, killed for food. And so this was really great to get her experience and see what she's doing. She's very much into uh, locally sourcing that uh, that meat out there. And of course, it's very nutrient rich, whether it be wild game or uh, or bison. And, uh, and the same thing goes for a lot of the cattle that we have here in Montana. So the film's called The Real Yellowstone, and it'll be out in the spring of 2025. You can go to shepherdswildlife.org. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. So. Anyways, we appreciate it. Look for the real Yellowstone in the spring of 25. Go to shepherdswildlife.org. Bye.